Hey everybody, it's Mike AK That Resale Guy. It's Thursday, uh, yesterday was my day off of videos. Sometimes on Wednesdays I will put out a like how-to video or just something that's non-reseller related uh, as far as buying and selling and thrift haul or sales or what sold. And uh, yesterday it just was a day off. I needed a little catch-up day. I've been doing these 20 listings per day on eBay and it does take a lot of extra time to get 20 items listed. It's really surprising that uh, I've had such a struggle really to get these 20 listings in each day. I've had to do a few of, few of them at night as well just to make sure I get the 20 in. But I've done it for now a Saturday, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. So that's 100 items that I've gotten listed this week. And I want to keep that going at least through this week and see how I can do. I've been buying a bunch of cards. Let me show you a quick video of what my desk always looks like. You don't see it because it's all down here. So I'll, I'll just kind of slide that little video in and show you how much stuff that this is normal. I always have these on my desk. They're always in the way. There it is. There's the desk. Like I said, I just purchased all those. This is all the cards that have been sitting around for a little while. Bo broke open those boxes the other day. This is all stuff that's priced, ready to go out for sale. And then there's all these sets that I bought at a local auction, not a local auction, an online auction uh, through highbid.com. Those are all complete sets that I need to get listed as well. So that's all the stuff that I've been working on, uh, slowly getting some of that stuff listed. Some of it's going to go on eBay, some will go out to my antique booth, and some will just go into bulk junk boxes that uh, I eventually sell off. So that's stuff that I'm still working on. There's more on the shelf over here. Uh, there's always cards around here. You don't, there's a, maybe I showed you the pile of boxes down below. That's all sets that I need to get listed from a big purchase that I did online through an online uh, auction off of Highbid. So as always, there's a lot going on around here. Today is a very rainy, overcast day here in Arizona, so I did not do my pool plunge this morning. It was pouring outside. And I know, it sounds weird. I'm not going to jump in the pool when it's raining. I'm like, what am I going to get afraid of getting wet or something? But just because it was rainy like that, I think I'm going to do my dive tonight. Uh, might not be as cold in the water uh, at night. I'm not sure. It's been 46 degrees in the morning. The water has been 46 degrees. So it's been very cold doing that each day. But for all that aside, I do got to show you what sold. Uh, we had another really good day on Amazon, not on Amazon, on eBay. I didn't show you my sales from yesterday because I didn't do a video, but I did like $300 on eBay yesterday. But I sold seven items in the last 24 hours for almost $500. Yeah, it's been a really good day. Uh, okay, let's get going. We'll do a couple of cheapy ones here first. You've seen me sell a bunch of these Lego manuals uh, through the last few months. And I think I have one batch left. I had a ton of these and individually they don't sell for a lot. So I just kind of put like themes together. These were all Jurassic Worlds. There's five manuals here and it sold for $8.99 with free shipping. Next we have this Disney Cars hat. This was actually kind of a unique hat. I couldn't find another one like it out on eBay, but it didn't matter. It took a long time to sell. I had it in my store for 20 bucks, wasn't selling. It showed up on my send offers tab. So I sent an offer for $12 with free shipping and thankfully they accepted. Next, I got this one here. This actually reminded me of Teen Wolf, but this is the uh, mascot for uh, Loyola Marymount University. I forget his name. I think it's Izzy, but this was really cool. Surf, surfing basketball mascot. How can I pass this up at a thrift store? This one here, $39.99 and I think it had free shipping, but yeah, I ended up getting 40 bucks for this little guy. Speaking of $40, here's another $40 sale. I picked up three packs of these Gerber vinyl pants at a thrift store. I think they were two bucks a piece. And this is the first one to sell and it's actually going up to Canada. But yeah, I got 40 bucks plus shipping to Canada for this little bag of uh, vintage vinyl pants. Who knew? Here's a cool game, Starship Troopers. This is uh, what the movie that came out was based on this book of Starship Troopers. They made a game here in the, I think this was like late 1970s. Yeah, it says 1976. And the uh, movie came out, I think in the 90s. Pretty cool game. Part of the pieces inside were still unpunched, so really good condition. And this sold for $24.99 plus shipping. Got a couple sports items next. Uh, this one here, uh, you'll see in the pop-up, uh, there's 12 autographed Major League Baseballs. Just sold these in bulk. Individually, these players sell for, you know, maybe $8 to $15 a piece. So I just put them all together in one big lot of 12, and it went for $79.99 plus shipping. And the last sale, and the best sale of the day, see if I can do this without knocking stuff over, hockey stick. You can see it's autographed right there. I think I have it upside down, but this is Shane Doan 
of the Arizona Coyotes. This is his actual game use stick. Let me see, see if I can get this proper. Right here, you can see it says Doan on there. It's got his little tape job down here on the knob. And uh, right there, you can see it's been authenticated, the autograph as well, by JSA. So really cool. And actually, I picked this up at a local auction for pretty cheap. Nobody really knew exactly what it was, but I did. Again, I've had this stick for quite a while because I'm asking a high dollar amount for it. Uh, got full asking price. It went for $199.99. It's only going over to Texas. So it's going from Arizona to Texas. Not going to take too long. Now you're asking, how do you ship a hockey stick? Yeah, I knew you were going to ask. So really, it's not too hard. All you do is you take a box and you kind of just sandwich this between a bunch of boxes because I'm not going to have a box that's as long as a hockey stick. So I'll have to do three or four boxes to kind of make a box around the shell. Maybe I'll show a part of it real quick. Okay, it's kind of hard to show this because it's such a big item, but basically I'm just gonna take pieces of cardboard like this. Oh, I'm dropping stuff, I knew that was gonna happen. And I basically just sandwich pieces like this together. So here we got one piece of it. I'll do another piece at an angle over the blade of the stick and I'll have to do it probably two more times to get it down there and then tape the heck out of it so it doesn't come apart. The other way I've seen people do it is literally you can just take bubble wrap and bubble wrap around it and then put a sticker over the top of it or your mailing label over the top of it. It works just as well. It's pretty hard to break these. The only spot that it could break really is down here on the blade. That's probably the weakest point. It's gonna take me a little while to pack up, for, but for a $200 sale, I have no problem doing so. So yeah, really happy to uh, get this sold. I did have one sale on Amazon. It's this Quirkle game, and it sold for $29.99 plus shipping. And yeah, sales on Amazon actually for the last few days have been so. Let me pop up my little uh, graph which shows you what I've been doing on Amazon. So you saw over the weekend that I had a really good weekend. I talked about that on Monday. And then this whole week, it's been pretty slow on there. A couple items, but uh, yeah, one sale today, 30 bucks plus shipping. I did do a bunch of thrifting yesterday, found a bunch of stuff here. I think some of it I did actually list yesterday, but I'll show you a few of the other things that are here that uh, will go into my eBay store, part of my 20 listings. A couple of them might go on Amazon though. I think this one might go to Amazon. Still got the sticker on it. This is... Obama Opoly, and I don't think that's necessarily like a flattering picture of Obama on here. Uh, but I looked this game up, and it's selling for like 40 some dollars over on Amazon. I don't know if I was restricted or not, but uh, either way, uh, I'll list this on either uh, eBay or Amazon. I found this Mega Blocks Christmas Ornaments set again, haven't checked it out at all inside to see if it's all complete or not. I do see some in there. Uh, this was only two bucks, so I went ahead and picked it up. Uh, this will definitely be an item that goes on eBay if it's all complete. It says that there's 10 ornaments in here. We'll see. Picked up Lego Ninjago, and this is a board game. Lego actually does have quite a few games. They're not real popular. They don't sell for very good money unless they're brand new and sealed. I have sold some new ones that sold for really good money. This one here, again, it was only $2.00. Sometimes I just keep these little figures in here if it's not complete. They're called micro minifigures, and I'll just put a big bulk lot out for them. And you can get 50 cents to a dollar each just for those little guys. I found a couple Eagles license plate frames, Philadelphia Eagles. Uh, these were both $5.49. I used my coupon, so you know I paid about four bucks each. The Eagles are terrible, so I don't know if these will sell this year or not, but uh, I did find two of them. And then I found this big stack of Betty Boop toys. So this one here is a vintage toothbrush holder. And I think these are all dated on the back. Let me get my old man glasses on so I can see if it says the year. It says 1997. So these are 23 years old. There is the, these little bubble pens and these are all different. So I assume the bubble solution inside is all dried out, but you got three of these pens and these were also from the 1990s. And then this is Baby Boop. And this is like a little comb and mirror set or comb and brush set. And this one is dated 1986. So it's even older. And these are all 75 cents a piece for these five items. 
I didn't even look them up. I just grabbed them for the 75 cents, knowing that uh, whether I lot them together or sell them individually, there's some uh, money to be made here. I picked up two figures. I have no idea who they are. So I'm going to show them. Maybe you guys might know who it is. So this guy with his K logo on him, I might try Google Lens. I've never used it. I see some other uh, resellers using it to identify things. But uh, I got this guy here. He's actually battery operated on the back, so I don't know what he does. And this guy here, he actually looks familiar, but I can't quite place it. It doesn't say a name on the bottom or anything, it just has like part numbers. So if you know who either of these two guys are, let me know. I know who this guy is. This is Mike Trout for the Angels. This is just like a little figure. And on the back it says uh, COX, which is our uh, Cox, our cable company. I don't know. Uh, what this was given out for, but for uh, 75 cents, I figured I'd pick it up, find out if it's worth anything. But an HP 75 ink cartridge, it's still new, dated. Doesn't expire till 2022, picked it up for $4. It looks like they're selling in the mid 20s, maybe low 20s. I got a Kung Fu hamster. Its battery doesn't work anymore. You press the button, doesn't work. Might see if I can open it up, change out the battery. I'm not sure if that's possible without taking them out of the packaging, but you can open it up on the bottom. Some of these hamsters do really well. Uh, so yeah, I went ahead and picked them up. He was $3.49. I picked up a baseball jersey. This was $4. And the reason why I picked this one up, first off, it's for the Las Vegas 51s. But this, this is, is the there. Susan J. Komen version where it's got like the pink stripes and the pink numbers. And you got the logo on the side here. I've actually sold this jersey a few times before. So I went and picked that up for 4 bucks. And then I picked up this bobblehead, and I'm not sure exactly what this one looks like inside because it just says uh, World Series Champions Bobbleheads. And actually, this one, it's actually marked on here. Travis Ishikawa right here, and I think uh, that's him right there. So I don't know if this will go on eBay, if it's worth it. If not, it'll go in my booth for like 12 bucks. All right, that's what I got going on for today. So, uh, yeah, this was kind of some cool stuff today. With some Found some neat items and definitely sold some really good things, too. So... All right, that's it today. Hit subscribe, give the thumbs up, and uh, I appreciate any comments that you leave down below. So thank you for watching. I'll see you next time.